had a $30 charge on my card. Fraudulent. Almost positive. He can't prove that it's fraudulent. He's just... Oh, I'm going to prove it. It was probably Dan. It, no. I wouldn't take $30. I would take a lot more. That's actually Good luck with that. That's actually all he had. So. Skin, basically. <laughs> just be super weird. So is this all the light you guys see? Just the glow coming off of your computers? Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of all we need. Do you ever get outside anymore? Or is this pretty much it? No. Pretty much it. Yeah. That's cool. We don't need to go outside. Good for you. Yeah. That's awesome. Outside's overrated. It is. It's like nice and calming, you know? What do you yeah, say? it's kind of nice and calming, like, if you're into you it. You know? <laughs> Whoa, dude, you're getting tan. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Shoot anything from you, buddy? Um. Alright, cool. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get here to make the cake? We're talking, talking, talking. It's 7.40. It's 9.30. This is for me. This is my breakfast. I'm going to be on a sugar high. Feeling good? I feel great. We're going to go to breakfast for lunch, which I think people call brunch. But it's a work day, so no alcohol. Um, for Ben's birthday, because Ben loves breakfast. Probably Studio Grill. Extra Serrano sauce, please. Um, although, what was the other option? Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel was the other one that was tossed in the mix. Who's filming me right now? Uh, no, I'm not. Going? Filming Who's both me? of you at the same Walker time. Walker thinks that everything's about her. Everything is about Yeah. Me. Walker, is everything about you? I will say that about Walker. Where did the stalk strap fall? Let's take it away from this tungsten and bring it in the natural. What we have here is our latest investment, just a box. Because there's nothing more valuable than a box that's full of potential. Exactly. What you make of it. You know, when my kid gets a Christmas Shut present. Shut up. This is the way you open things. You don't find scissors. You use the whatever is available to you. It's the only way we open things here right now. Looks like we have ourselves the Black Magic Ursa Mini Pro 4. 0.6 K. So, backstory. Uh, I've always been a fan of Black Magic products. Um, I've Have been you? An, I, I was an early adopter. I uh, before Rhino uh, purchased them for the other company I was working for, uh, the Black Magic Cinema 2.5s. Um, I personally owned three pocket cams, uh, and so when they came out with the original. Ursa, I was like, that's way too big. And then when they came out with the Ursa Mini, I was like, hey, that's a lot cooler. I'm interested in that. And then when they came out with the Ursa Mini Pro, I was especially drawn to it because it has built-in NDs uh, and it has the ability to shoot to an SD card and a couple other small features. But I said, now that fits our needs a little bit more. We do so much dock style work that the original cinema cameras that we currently own right now, um, we typically don't run our rigs super fat. We don't have big fat rigs. So um, our C100s, which you're shooting on right now, is typically the camera that we will run with um, because it has built-in NDs. It can function a little more handheld, have a smaller footprint in different areas. Um, and so with the Ursa, the big Ursa was out of the question because that thing is massive. Uh... And then they came out with the Ursa Mini Pro and I said, yes, I want that. And I went to Kevin and I said, I want that. And he said, wait. Uh... So I waited and waited, and then finally Kevin said, hey, how much does that cost? And I said, this much, and he said, cool, buy it. And I said, yes, please. So I placed the order on Monday, and now Rhino is a proud owner 
of a Black Magic Ursa Mini Pro. This is exciting. You will shoot great things. You will shoot great things. You said it. You said it. Do you think it'd be useful? I think they just need to be like half hour check ins. Yeah. All my money should be half hour. a live bar. Hey, you know what's a good bar? I just had this at Target. It's called That's It. It's like basically two fruits and that's it. Let's see, I feel like an idiot. We're gonna propagate some of these, or uh, one of these succulents. Step one, propagating. Step one. Get all the man's Kevin remembers to bring in the plant, or Step I guess two. the soil, which was previously named Penelope. So you gotta wait. Coming back from death, Penelope? Yeah, it might be uh, a little bit of a journey. Yeah, it might be, uh, might be coming back. So like next week, you can water it? You'll see little roots like those, oh, so okay. they'll be like white. The stems will start to shrivel like that's doing, and then one day it'll shrivel up and fall off like this one did, and then you can throw it away, and then it's healthy because it's grown its own roots into the ground. Damn. Damn. Tad, what are you listening to? Some smooth jazz. Nice. Well, it's... Not full jazz, it's jazz vibes. It's a Spotify playlist. Sometimes I listen to jazz in the morning. Sometimes I listen to jazz vibes. Yeah, do you have a morning routine? Um, yes, if I'm showering that morning, because I wash my hair about every other day. Second day hair is better. If I'm showered in the morning, I'll get up at like 6.30, and I'll get out of the shower by seven. I do some of my hair, and then I'll let the dogs out in the backyard, and I'll make my smoothie. Stick it on the ninja, and I go back upstairs and finish my hair. This is actually finished hair. I know that's a surprise. <laughs> I, my goal in life is to get a haircut, which I can do minimal amounts with it, and it looks like I kind of did something. So I think I'm headed that way. Yeah, that's the, yeah. that's the key. I.e., I'm a lazy morning person. I get up, I take a big, steamy pile oh. of eggs, <laughs> put them on a tortilla, and eat them. That's <laughs> every morning I do that. Eat eggs in a tortilla. <laughs> Are you really? No. Nick has a great morning routine, though. Every morning, I wake up to check the temperature outside. I do a Brett Favre. He would just get, like, completely naked and run around outside to acclimate himself. So I would do, I do that. I tend to my chickens. I'm clothed at this point. I start tending to my chickens. You gotta collect the eggs in the morning and then mid-afternoon. So I make eggs. I make a big steaming, heaping pile of eggs. <laughs> Do you have a morning routine? Yeah, wake up and don't kill anyone. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> you should go around asking everyone what they think about the party being canceled today. <laughs> What do you think about the party being canceled today? It's a, it's a hot issue right now, I'll tell you that. We're staging a, we're staging a walkout. We're staging a walkout we're staging a and, a, and a revolt. We were all set and excited to do this cookout today for Rhino, the Rhino annual cookout. First annual. Memorial Day cookout. <laughs> Memorial Day cookout. And we all get a base camp message this morning at the same time. That says, and I quote, <laughs> Hey everyone, we are going to reschedule the shindig that was planned for tonight. Take a minute and let your family know. 
take a minute and let your family know. How about take a minute and realize that this team is falling apart based on this one incident. That's not true. But Tyler was sad. He said, and I quote, Can we still leave at 3.30? That was, that was, <laughs> that was after. That was after. after. Come on. Oh. Get your on. timeline right. Get your timeline right. Uh, Walker, if you can see here, bump in on that. Those are streaming tears of sadness. And then below that, can you see what it says? Sad. He says sadness. It runs through my veins. It runs through my veins, man. Tyler was broken up about this thing, and I, I'm upset, of course, but like, Tyler was broken up. Kevin later commented, and with, with all empathy, sadness is a common emotion to feel following unexpected, unwanted news. But how we deal with change in our lives is where we truly have freedom to choose. Oh, Look, man. there's two rhinos, okay? Rhino before the barbecue wasn't canceled. And then Rhino after the barbecue was canceled. That's the best way you could have said that, man. Hey, how do you feel about the barbecue being canceled? You know, it's kind of a best case scenario because the weather's not going to be great. But Get her out of here. Go. I did put a lot of love into the brats we were going to eat. Go. I was pretty sad. Like I was in the car driving over here, happy. Like man, we leave and work at three o'clock. Get to go to barbecue. And I get this message on base camp. I stopped my car on the highway, pulled over to the side, and I cried for five minutes. A grown man. How do you feel about it? I wasn't gonna go anyways. Oh, too cool? Doesn't bother me. How do you guys feel about the uh, barbecue being canceled? How do chickens feel when they take their feet and freeze them in those bags? How do narwhals feel when their long tooth is mistaken for a horn? How did every child feel when they found out that Brontosaurus was really the combination of an apatosaur and a camasaurus. Both sauropods, sure, but it was it was a hoax. I brought clothes to change into to cook. Cook out. No cook. I want to use this on someone. That's how I feel. How do you feel about the uh, barbecue being canceled? Barbecue got canceled? <laughs> uh, Thanks, jerk. I refuse to answer because I don't want to incriminate myself. Huh? How do you feel about the barbecue being canceled? Well, I canceled it, so I feel pretty good. We're not going to do it, so I get to sit over here in a corner by myself and cry. Let's go for a quick ride in my car. Okay. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take him for a little ride. No, I don't want to do any like formal thing. Yeah, it's just gonna be our own little thing. Right, own little thing. Or Anybody wants to come? Okay. Cool. Okay. Have a good weekend because I won't be here next week. You're gonna be here next week. I meant because you're gonna fire me. <laughs> oh. Oh. We'll be all right. It's okay. Notice my stickerless Honda Element. I got this note on my car. It says smile. They made it look like a, a parking ticket. I think it was one of the positive psychology kids that were running around town yesterday. I got in a deep debate with one of them. Then I realized she was just a high school girl. Always wear a seatbelt. It's really like a ticket. Hi, Sherry. This is like the quintessential Rhino experience. So over the years, there's been a lot of car rides with Kev, is I think what the team calls them, because we have kind of like an open office style. Everybody loves them, they're really cool on a lot of levels, but at the same time, it really inhibits 
your privacy, obviously. You know, when we first started the company, we didn't have any money. So I didn't have an office, no one had an office. So the lack of privacy was inhibiting in some ways and having a discussion because you want to, you want to have a conversation about work performance and it can be really tricky to do that in front of everyone. We kind of have a policy with my team that, you know, you praise people in public, but you don't criticize people in public. And I don't have a 100% unblemished record with that, but for the most part, I've held true to that really good. Um, so we hop in the car a lot and we go for drives when we have serious talks in the car. So I've driven around the blocks, I've driven all around Kalamazoo with everyone at Rhino. Sitting right here, we have a little chat in the car. Don't want to hit that lady. So, I feel like this week was boring. I don't even know what happened this week. I feel like this week flew by. Ben had a birthday. Yeah. Team's going to Alaska next week. In the next three weeks, I think, we have shoots in Alaska, Hawaii, DC, South Dakota, North Carolina, Tampa, and Indianapolis. I wanna say. Next three weeks are gonna be crazy. 